at least four days for the Jubilee weekend. Cliff is not the only guest on board. Did a brilliant job, though. Indeed, it did. Yes, the Royals will be. There they are in the Royal Box. They're all seated and ready to go. Yes. We've got Prince Harry there. Oh, look, Brian May is up there. Look. The See, he can relax this, you know, this time round. That's it. That's Prince Edward. All sitting, waiting expectantly. How long have we got to go? There's only six minutes and 35 wow. seconds. Everybody's seated. So all Good. the artists are probably feeling a little bit nervous now. Yeah. So Cliff did tell us earlier on in confidence uh, that he was feeling a little bit nervous but very excited. And earlier on he popped in to have a little bit a little chat about what he'd be performing tonight. So Cliff, is our lovely red bus bringing back wonderful memories? It, the last holidays. time I was on a bus, <laughs> I drove it. <laughs> <laughs> well actually I didn't, you know. I was going I was getting home from the big pageant on the Thames yesterday. Oh, yeah. My car got lost. And it was pouring out rain, so we got on a bus to Chelsea. Really? I got on a bus, did yeah. You? I had to sign a lot of autographs, but I got on a bus. And it was great fun, actually. I'd forgotten how much fun it is. Yeah. And did you have a bit of a sing along on the bus, Cliff? Quietly. Quietly. I was signing a lot of, well, not signing an autograph, but having photographs taken by everybody. Yeah. Right. So I thought I wouldn't make too much of a play of it. Okay. And how's your afternoon been so far? What have you been up to? Good. I've done nothing, really. I got here an hour early because there's yeah. really nothing on the streets. I think everybody's thinking that the streets are going to be jammed, and so no one's on them. So right. you sail through and. Uh, Sir Alton threw a wonderful party for us, and I think we're all dribbling in and dribbling out at, at different times, depending on when we're on the show. This afternoon? Yes, yeah, it's already happened. Well, isn't that risky? I mean, will people turn up for tonight's concert? Oh, I think they will. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. <laughs> You're here. You know, yeah. I'm prepared to do all two hours if they wish me to. That's, and that's an incredible vibe, isn't it? Yeah. Because, I mean, all the different acts that are here and the different artists and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a dream come true for you. There's always something about doing a... The Royal Command shows are the same thing. There's an excitement there, and you can never yeah. put your finger on why. But um, I guess it's to do with the, the longevity of monarchy and the fact that you're in the presence of someone who's really somehow connected to Henry VIII somewhere along the mm. line. So there's all of that goes on. But what I loved about 10 years ago, and it feels the same now, is that when we were performing in her back garden for the 50th year at Secession to the Throne, um, it, all the competitive thing disappears. And, and we become like a true fraternity of singers dancers etc and backstage is always incredibly relaxed you know it's it's fantastic i love i just love these events they're wonderful yeah, yeah. and can you give us any clues to what's on your set list tonight Sikha? Oh, well i'm told i shouldn't really so I'll, I'll only say that uh, when i was sitting down thinking about it i thought you know i'm probably older than everybody else on the show and i've been around longer than most and i probably might might be someone else might be but i thought that maybe i might be the only one who could sing a hit from the 50s 60s 70s yes. 80s oh, and 90s 2000s yeah. so i'm going to do that brilliant and so, will you be congratulating the queen in true sir cliff richard style i'm going to play that by ear and see if right. i dare good lad well we're looking forward to it we can't wait thank thanks you. ever so much thank for dropping so by much. my pleasure thank you